Hello, my friends. Hello. Tut's not here with Benny. We're out on the trail again. Hi. It's October and it's beautiful out here. Uh, all the colors are developing very nicely in the leaves and everything. We've just been pointing out all the wonderful differences in the in the foliage and it's a marvelous time of year to be out here. Right, Ben? Uh -huh. And it's very near Halloween. Uh, so we're going to take a little look at some castles in Scotland and some stories about them and why they're considered to be haunted and what people have seen there, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. First one's called House of Dunn. This Angus stately home could lay claim to being one of Scotland's most haunted places. It seems that every room, corridor, and stairwell in the House of Dunn is home to a spirit, whether it be a wailing baby or a headless horseman. <laughs> the undeniable fact is that the house has seen more than its fair share of death and tragedy. It was used as a hospital by the RAF during World War II, and there's a long history of settlements on the site dating back 9,000 years. No. Wow. Craithus Castle. There are traces of the Burnett family everywhere at Craithus. Their faces look down, captured forever in oil paintings, gifted to the family by Robert the Bruce. There have been other remnants left behind. When the castle was renovated, the bones of a child were discovered beneath the hearthstone in what has long been known as the Green Lady's Room. Wait, 9,000? This, the, the last one was 9,000 years old, yes. Uh -uh. Not the castle, but the place has been used by people that long, Ben. Whoa, that's a long time. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see, where are we now? Drum Castle, said to be haunted by the son of the 20th Laird of Drum. He was just, just six years of age when he died in 1865. Many people have, re heard it, have reported hearing the young boy's laughter. Wow. wow. Poor guy. Falkland Palace. David Stewart's rapid rise to power ultimately proved to be his downfall. His rival, Robert Stewart, the Duke of Albany, engineered his arrest and had him taken to his home at Falkland, hooded and riding backwards on a mule. He was thrown in a cell and either starved to death or died of dysentery 18 days later, aged only 23. He is believed to be just one of the ghosts that haunt Falkland Palace, with sinister faces spied from the windows. A windowsill at Fivey Castle still carries the marks of a broken-hearted lady betrayed by her husband over 400 years ago. He had five daughters, but no male heir. Do you remember them? Just like Eva was the only heir to her father. This guy had no male heir, no sons. She found herself sidelined and humiliated and is said to have died of a broken heart. Her name was found scratched in the sandstone of the windowsill where it remains to this day. Linlithgow. Sir Tam Dalyell worked hard for the epithet Bloody Tam and was responsible for the death, torture, and deportation of thousands of Covenanters during the 1600s. It helped also that there were accusations that he was in league with the devil, playing cards with the devil at his home in Lithlingau. The game is said to have ended when an enraged and beaten Satan throwing the card table out a window into a pond. Bizarrely, when the water level of the pond dropped more than 200 years later, a card table was pulled from the swamp. It is still on display in the house today. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wait, how many years? 200 years after, they found the table in the water. Culross Village. Culross violent past has been seen as a hive of supernatural activity. Petty criminals were branded for life with an S for sinner with a hot branding iron, while others were dragged to the cross and had their ears nailed to the stocks. Whoa. Then there were the witches with so many arrested and put on trial in 1643, there was nowhere left to hold them. That was like 4,000 years ago. 
not quite, but old, 400 years ago. Let's see, Castle Fraser in Inverary. One of numerous secret staircases at Castle Fraser leads to the green room in the Green Lady, who was reputedly murdered here and her corpse dragged down the steps. Her blood stained the steps to such an extent they had to be covered in the wooden paneling. They could not wash it out. The castle also has a lady in black who died of consumption in 1874 and reputedly wanders the castle and grounds. Wow, this is some scary stuff. Alloa Tower is the oldest keep in Scotland, has stood for over 700 years, has survived fire, fires, curses, and a handful of attacks. The violent history has seen a number of spirits take up residence in the Clackmanshire abode. The tower has a specter of a man in chains in the dungeon, accompanied by a serving girl. Another, another girl can allegedly be seen in the great hall and a woman dressed in black has been seen watching over a cradle in one of the rooms. Ooh, I'm getting chills, Benny. In the charter room, a young boy has been seen crying, as has an armed man with strange eyes and a gaunt preacher dressed in black. The most frightening of the tales is from the solar room, where a man has been seen hanging. Ugh. Visitors have all reported, also reported the physical sensation of being strangled while standing in that room. They feel someone holding them around the neck. Well, that's the end of our, that's the end of our rundown of castles in Scotland right now, Benny. Is that enough scary for now? Yeah. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. So, yep, Halloween's coming up, and we thought that might be a good, a good little uh, segment to do, and we may do another one or two about Halloween. We'll see what happens, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, touching off for now, my friends. Touching off, bye. Bye-bye.